He rescued my scooper. Five seconds of being on the ice. I tested the depth of the ice, which is six inches by the way, but I lost my scooper immediately. This actually has a chisel on the end to check it. But since it's so flimsy, I just use my trapping spike. Micah with us. Micah can't swim in this terrified of water, so needless to say, he's on quite a uh, exhilarating adventure today. We got some ice holes dug already. This one, it's not very deep water. The thick parts are not. But I have a minnow down there. Water's really clear. I want to test out over there. We're on four inches of ice here. And I like to be more than a little safe. So you can hear every time the ice cracks. It's like a, the bungee snapping. Yeah. A bungee snapping and then you hear the cracking. And then you feel like uh, you should really skedaddle off the ice. Welcome to Ice Fishing Love. <laughs> they make little foam pads that you can set over the ice leaves. So you can drill a whole bunch of them. And you just put a little foam pad on it. So when you push it around, you have access. Can you tell who's the Pennsylvania native and the, who's the Florida transplant? <laughs> one of us is waltzing around no spurs and the other one has the thickest ice cleats you've ever seen <laughs> yeah those things bite to the next hole. So maybe I'll set up another tip up on this hole. They're freaky, ain't they?
you flip in every video though. Becoming an actual person. Two minnows set up if anything wants to come through onto the shallows. Commentary. Two big pulls up because right now you're just dancing around on the bottom. There you go. Alright, so it seems every three feet or so you lose an inch of ice. Because I was drilling that, and then you heard everything start cracking, which is probably fine. But I'm breaking into the water, and it's only maybe two inches thick. This one was four inches thick. So it is really tapering off really quickly. When I came down a few weeks ago, the whole center was open water. That is absolutely like maybe half an inch of water out there. Which is why I'm still in the shallows. So, we're going to keep it a little closer to home here. Look how clear the water is. Hopefully they're able to see the jig in there. I have an iron grip on that thing. Oh, it's, it's an iron grip. I promise you that. At least I have the scooper to scoop it out if I do drop it. Yeah, but I feel like it's a little deeper over there than it is. It is a little here. deeper. Let's see, what should we choose? Hmm. Kind of feeling this guy. Let's do that. Wait, no, I have more. Hold on. I have all kinds of stuff. Those are way too big for this depth of water. I thought I had a little one of these guys. Alas, I do not. I'm gonna tie this on. All right, so what I'm doing here hey, is, you know, those little ice spikes you have around your here, neck right? to pull yourself out of an ice hole? Well, I never got to actually use those, so I was on the ground kind of sliding around like a seal or something trying to see how well those work and how much force you really need to use to drag yourself across the ice and how much force it takes to really jam them in there and of course as soon as i went down i uh landed on my gopro a little funny and it started recording in my pocket um what's better though is unbeknownst to me a game warden truck rolled up around this time that micah didn't realize was a game warden because we're both way too oblivious honestly and this game warden got to watch me just <laughs> slide around on the ice on my belly. I'm sure I made his day. <laughs> I know I was cracking up once I realized. I don't know why I do this to myself. My nose hurts. I'm sniffly. I'm cold. I watch these uh, two kids fall through the ice. Or land on their asses. I've never caught anything ice fishing. I caught a perch last time I went after like eight hours and it was the fastest record catch and release you've ever seen because the moment I got it out of the top of the hole it went right back down. And you know I whined all year how we had no ice and here I am and I wonder why. Why I do this. Oh! Intuition again. Hello officer! The game commission officer walking to you. <laughs> okay. It's going. We're now two for two on hunting oh, yeah. game work. Yeah, thirty dollar fishing line. A lot cheaper. Oh god, yeah. 
this is more warden interaction I've had this like past month than in my entire life. <laughs> Exactly. That's what I'm saying. And he wants to make sure you're safe and all that. Yeah, like I said, especially with that incident the other day. Yeah. I mean, he has his jacket on, but I have at least my little ice picks and someone nearby. Yeah, he's driving. I mean, there's no regulation for safety equipment on the ice, I don't think. But you'd be dumb not to have anything for safety wise. Yeah. Is there anything you want me to take in? Do you want to pack up the uh, the step up? Or just start packing up the sled? Oh, I, uh... You pull them out of the water and there's a little reel on them. Take the minnow off. You just drop the minnow down the hole.